If you're ready for diving adventure, you're ready for Neil Watson's Undersea Adventures. Undersea Adventures was founded by the man whose name is synonymous with diving adventure, Neil Watson. Neil holds world's records for scuba depth and distance, as well as several martial arts and flying records. Neil won't put his name on a dive destination unless it meets his exacting standards, both for quality of service and for unparalleled diving. Neil founded Undersea Adventures locations in Bimini, home to mysterious shipwrecks, spectacular walls, and the possible remains of the lost continent of Atlantis. Andros, location of the second largest barrier reef in the world, with diving possibilities that boggle the mind. Chub K, fishbowl of the Bahamas, with some of the friendliest fish and most unspoiled beaches in the Bahamas. Nassau, action center of the Bahamas, both for nightlife and high adventure diving, from shark feeding to close encounters of the wild kind. I'm Neil Watson and welcome to Undersea Adventures. Over the past 15 years, I've strived to establish what I feel is the greatest variety of world-class diving destinations in the industry. My business philosophy is simple, to give you the greatest dive vacation possible. So hop in, let me take you on a little tour of our islands. many ways to get to the Bahamian island of Bimini. But if you're a diver, getting there is nowhere near half the fun. Bimini is only seven miles long and barely 700 feet across at its widest point. It lies just 50 miles from Miami on the eastern fringe of the Gulf Stream. The cleansing flow of these warm, nutrient-rich currents gives Bimini some of the clearest waters in the world and an abundance of marine life second to none. Its prolific waters have made Bimini the sport fishing capital of the world. Nearly two-thirds of all the world's record game fish have been caught off her shores. This is what lured great sportsmen like Ernest Hemingway to the island. His photographs still adorn the walls of local record catches, immortalized in photographs on these historic walls. Sport fishing has long been the life's blood of Bimini, but the old ways are yielding to the new and a new breed of sportsmen is flocking to her shores, the sport diver. Divers have discovered that the same thing that made Bimini's fishing so great makes its diving even better. Bimini Undersea Adventures is the dive operation on the island. Owned and operated by Bill and Nadala Keith, a young and enthusiastic husband and wife team, their hard work Innovative ideas and years of experience have paid off. Bimini is now their permanent home, and they have but one goal, to make one of the world's greatest diving destinations available to more divers, while raising the quality and standards for all. To that end, they maintain a full inventory of state-of-the-art rental gear, including heavy-duty aluminum tanks, top-quality regulators, buoyancy compensators, masks, fins, and snorkels. Their most valuable asset is the dive vessel Adventurer, the fast 42-foot twin-engine custom-built dive boat. It makes diving Bimini easy and comfortable, bringing the most distant and exotic sights in the Bimini chain to within a short 20-minute ride from the dock. Sites like the spooky wreck of the Sapona, said to be a victim of the Devil's Triangle. The Atlantis Road, which some scientists believe was left over from the sinking of the lost continent 12,000 years ago. 
there is the world-famous Continental Shelf Dive, where at 130 feet, the Gulf Stream current sweeps you down the face of a coral jungle over a bottomless abyss of blue. And a multitude of 30 to 80 foot dive sites where you can always expect to find the unexpected. Let's drop in and see what we might expect to find on a typical dive day in Bimini, the island in the stream. The first dive site will be Rainbow Reef, named for its large number of colorful tropical fish species. Its virgin beauty made it a natural choice to be declared the first national marine sanctuary in the Bahamas. The Foundation for Ocean Research dedicated the site in September of 1986 with the installation of a life-size statue of Jesus Christ. The reef creatures have readily assimilated it into their reef family with a delicate veil of filamentous algae and the beginning signs of coral growth. Under the nearby ledges, you'll find other interesting inhabitants. The shallow sand pools and ledges seem to offer the ideal setting for a nurse shark's afternoon snooze. A safe abode for a spiny lobster. A little further offshore in 70 feet of water, the topography takes on a higher profile. The nutrient rich water supports a variety of colorful sponges, corals, and marine life that can't help but give one the impression that regardless of what goes on in the rest of the world, all is in harmony here. The visibility is almost never less than 100 feet. It may give you the illusion that you could free dive to the 70 foot bottom. However, don't try this unless, like Bill, you've had a lot of practice. At 70 feet, your lungs shrink to approximately one third their original size. And after exerting the considerable effort and time it takes to reach the bottom, that doesn't leave a lot of air to get back to the surface on. You never know what you'll run into in Bimini's waters. On the way in from the day's dives, you may come upon a school of wild dolphins. Though they are afraid of scuba bubbles, if you are careful, you can jump overboard and approach them on snorkeling gear. They may swim away, but more often than not, they will continue about their business, digging for their dinner, the small crabs and crustaceans that live in the sandy bottom. This also makes it a favorite feeding ground for the giant stingrays, who compete for the same quarry. However, they are less inclined to eat in front of uninvited guests. Anywhere there's water, you'll find unique underwater subjects worth exploring. Even in the mouth of the harbor, schools of graceful eagle rays will entertain you with their effortless ballet. Climb off the dive boat and you're just steps away from your room. Bimini Undersea Adventures offers a variety of accommodations packages for every taste and budget. From the economically priced Browns Hotel, right at the dive shop dock, to the luxurious Bimini Big Game Club with its freshwater swimming pool. Other options include the quaint Complete Angler, Hemingway's favorite hotel, or the recently completed Seacrest with all the comforts of home. Some hotels offer meal packages. Others allow you the freedom to sample the excellent native restaurants. When the sun sets in Bimini, there's only one place to be, 
the complete anchor. It has the reputation of being the party capital of the Bahamas and possibly the free world. It's been that way since Hemingway's time and to this day shows no signs of slowing down. You never know who you'll run into with a complete angler, from TV stars to rock stars, captains to kings. They all have fond memories of their visit to the angler. Well, most all. Gary Hart's not smiling quite so much these days. If you don't want to dive every day, there are plenty of other activities available on the island. The entire western shore of Bimini is one long deserted beach. You can take off by yourself or find some friends. Rent a scooter or stroll through the straw market. Friendliness is the rule in Bimini, not the exception. When you're ready to get back in the water, there's always a boat heading out. If you are not yet certified or want to upgrade your diving skills, Bimini Undersea Adventures offers a full range of instructional programs, including resort courses. In addition, the operation works closely with instructors wishing to bring their students to the island for their open water checkout dives. There is something for everyone in Bimini, from the challenge of the 130-foot continental shelf dive to shallower sites like Turtle Rocks, home to one of the largest heads of star coral in the world. Bimini Undersea Adventures even offers instruction and rides in their new sports hub, giving divers a whole new view of the underwater world. The diving is what makes Bimini great, but Bimini Undersea Adventures makes it even better. With top quality equipment, a first-rate diving vessel, a variety of accommodations, and a hard-working husband and wife team committed to putting Bimini on the top of every diver's must-see list. Nautil and I consider it our personal responsibility to see that each of our guests has a great dive vacation. So why don't you come join us? There are many ways to get to Bimini. It's easier than you think. The only hard part is having to leave. Packages are available from two to eight days with departures out of Miami and Fort Lauderdale every day of the week. For further information, call Bill and Nautila Keefe's Bimini Undersea Adventures, toll free at one of the numbers on your screen. But don't put it off. One of the world's best diving destinations is now even better. Bimini Undersea Adventures is a Neil Watson Undersea Adventures affiliate. Andros Undersea Adventures brings you the Barrier Reef. Andros, a name that inspires awe in the minds of divers, new and old. Home to the second largest barrier reef in the world. It is the epicenter of the Bahamas' most extraordinary diving. The Andros Barrier Reef extends 140 miles down the eastern shore of this, the largest island in the Bahamas. Its backbone of rich Elkhorn forest is punctuated by mysterious blue holes, shallow coral gardens, and historical shipwrecks. Its rugged spur and groove formations slope to dramatic walls that plunge into the thousand-foot depths of the tongue of the ocean, just a few hundred yards offshore. The definition of virgin diving, there is only one other small dive operation on the island, 60 miles away. This means you'll never see another dive boat, and chances are, the creatures you encounter will have never seen a human being, nor show signs of fear. Betsy Sandstrom and J.D. Sailor, owner-operators of the dive operation, can put you on dive sites that no diver has ever seen before, and other sites that divers return year after year to see. Okay, since we've been running trips here, we've probably seen only one-tenth of one percent of the dive sites that are here. There's 150 miles of barrier reef here that are vastly unexplored. The deep walls abutting the tongue of the ocean are some of the richest in the world. 
Visibility is seldom less than 100 feet. And even at depth, the vivid color and subtle hues of nature enchant the eye. Rare black corals abound. The ravines and tunnels that honeycomb the reef form an endless maze with excitement at every turn. On shallower sites like Alibaba's cave, the adventure is somewhat tamer. As tame as these fish are by nature, some are downright lovable. Betsy has a special affection for a little grouper she calls baby. Even the most timid species like these vivid yellow conies are quick to attract attention when there's a little food in the water. Betsy and JD even have a tame anemone, which they hand feed. Although he doesn't show much affection, he seems to appreciate the morsel. Just inside the reef crest are the twisted remains of a 1920s freighter, the Potomac, which collided with the reef in a vicious storm. Now, it rests in calm waters, providing safe habitat for countless tropical fish species and colorful encrusting corals. At day's end, you never have to worry about carrying tanks. That's our job. Mosey on up to the bar and sample a Goombe smash. Chat with your buddies. Or relax on the sun deck and catch up on your reading from the hotel's lending library. Since Andros Undersea Adventures is a small operation, Betsy and JD can afford to be flexible and tailor their dives to the specific needs and experience levels of their guests. Most times our people like to have us take really good care of them on the boat, but once they're in the water, they like to go their own way. Although we're always there, we get a lot of people who'd like to have us go along and dive master for them. And when they want that, then that's what we do. We sort of decide what everybody's interested in and try and meet you know, their specific needs and desires for, uh, for their diving trip. Betsy and JD provide three daily boat dives with unlimited beach diving allowing you to explore the nearby reefs, both day and night. Full PADI certification courses are available to guests, as well as resort courses, which will permit beginners to take a guided tour of the reef, accompanied by an instructor. Photographers will be pleased to learn that Dive Pro Al Zamrock offers overnight E6 film processing and a full line of underwater photographic rental equipment, including Nikonis 5s, strobes, and lenses. Divers can even arrange to star in personalized videos prepared by our local video experts. In the boutique, you can buy local handmade fashions of batik fabric, known as androsia. Essentials such as sunglasses, sunblock, and wide-brimmed hats are also available to ease your body's transition into the subtropics. Your villa or room will open right onto the beach so you can awaken to the fresh ocean breezes. Time slows in the Bahamas, and the nervous tick of the watch is replaced by the slow beat of the waves. If you don't care to dive every day, on shore there are many unique treasures to explore. All right, you get a you. drink there. Oh, it's wonderful. No thanks. Oh, it's good. Morgan's Bluff, 
where the famed pirate met his maker, to the hidden caves where it's believed to have hidden his booty. Bicycles are available at the dive shop to widen your exploring range. Wherever you go, bring along a mask and snorkel. The numerous lagoons and inlets offer some extraordinary diving opportunities. Just a few yards offshore at Conch Sound, a mysterious blue hole opens to the surface, beckoning divers to explore. Patrolled at its mouth by a school of vividly marked Atlantic spadefish, no one precisely knows where it leads, although underwater explorers have followed its passages through a network of cathedral-like rooms that lead out more than a mile towards the sea. Other blue holes originate inland, like Uncle Charlie's, explored by the Cousteau Society. The inland blue holes, they, they do a track with dye all the way back to the ocean. They put dyes in the tides and chains, and they can trace the dye miles and miles. Whale shark, man, spotted whale shark. You never know what you'll see oh, next on the Andros oh. Barrier Reef. Former dive master Fraser Nivens oh, captured this extraordinary footage oh. of a whale shark playing in the wake at the stern of the dive boat. Unlike the Barrier Reef of Australia, it doesn't take 30 hours by plane and another 10 hours by ship to reach. It is located just one hour from the Florida coast, an hour that transports you from the clang and clatter of the big city to the symphony of ocean waves upon the windswept beaches of paradise. If you're looking for the remote isolation of the tropics with diving that rivals the world's best, Andros Undersea Adventures offers the diving vacation you've been waiting for. Call us at the toll-free number on your screen and let us make your diving dreams come true at Andros Undersea Adventures. Andros Undersea Adventures is a Neil Watson Undersea Adventures affiliate. Chub K has been called the fishbowl of the Bahamas, but in truth, its crystal clear visibility and profusion of brilliantly colored fish would put even the finest fishbowl to shame. This is due to its unique location in the Bahamas chain, right on the edge of the tongue of the ocean, where water thousands of feet deep comes within several hundred yards of shore, bringing fresh nutrients to continually replenish the reef and its myriad of colorful inhabitants. For miles in space, Chub K stands out like an aquamarine jewel in a cobalt blue setting at the western tip of the Berry Islands chain of the Bahamas. A low altitude view reveals its pristine beauty. A calm, natural harbor leads out to a reef that parallels the crescent-shaped beach line just a few hundred yards offshore. Below, schooling reef fish from French grunt to snapper throng the shallow sites while large pelagics patrol the deeper reefs. The closer you look, the more you see with countless varieties of colorful shells, invertebrates, and macroflora. Nowhere in the Bahamas is there so much diving variety just a stone's throw from shore. This ideal setting makes Chub K the epitome of low stress, High pleasure diving. Owned and operated by Bruce and Toy Robbins, with the expert assistance of their son Alex, they'll make you feel right at home, both in the water and out. There's no rigid schedule or set itinerary. Their only goal is to see that you have a great time diving at your own pace at the sites you feel most comfortable with. 
Our best dives are our 30 to uh, 65 foot range where we have uh, nice uh, stands of coral with lots of uh, colored fish, uh, eagle rays cruising through occasionally, uh, schools of uh, grunts, goatfish, uh, and multicolored tropicals. As you pass the point on one of Chubb's rarely crowded dive boats, the first dive site comes into view, Mama Rota Rocks. Reaching up from the sandy bottom, its Elkhorn branches break the surface at low tide. No need for scuba gear here. Another site, Hole in the Roof, has recently been adopted by a friendly nurse shark, who will put on quite a show for a few morsels of cracked top. Just a few dives ago, the dive we, uh, we call Hole in the Roof, because of the chimneys coming through the coral, uh, I took some conch down, broke the live conch out of the shell and cleaned it, and this shark came out and just started like nuzzling everybody, coming right around. And, uh, and came back the next dive and did the same thing, third dive, and the fourth dive we were on, there she was, you know, so it was like, uh, she like kind of recognizes the boat now, I think, recognizes, here's the, the, the pounding of the conch and comes right out and comes up and nuzzles you in the chest, the fins, the arms, and she's uh, just there to be fed, she's waiting, you know, just like a docile pet. We're calling her Nurse Ratchet. <laughs> The sponge life, non-existent in some parts of the Bahamas, has found a perfect habitat on the walls and slopes of Chug Cay. Nowhere is this more apparent than in the 60 to 80 foot depths. Deeper still, rich gardens of black coral populate the deep walls. A testament to the protection afforded them by our conscientious dive masters. If you don't care to go deep, many of the most beautiful sites are the shallowest and most easily diveable. Like Bimini, scuba diving is only a recent phenomenon in Chubb. Even now, its biggest attraction is the sport of deep sea fishing. This is why the diving is still so virgin. Bring him into the boat. All right, that's the way to boat him. Unlike some out island resorts, the Chubb K Club offers clean air conditioned rooms, appointed with amenities that are rare in even some of the finest hotels, such as personal refrigerators and another appliance which you'll probably never use satellite cable TV. Like other undersea adventures locations, the Chubb K Club is tailored to the needs of the diver. Rooms are just steps away from the dive shop and dock, separated only by a sparkling freshwater swimming pool, where Bruce and Toy offer full paddy scuba certification courses, as well as one-day resort courses, which permit students the opportunity to dive on the reef the very same day under instructor supervision. Photo courses and Nikonis camera rentals are also offered. If you don't want to make three dives a day, you can take an occasional afternoon off to explore the deserted beaches. Or just kick back and enjoy the undemanding island pace. In addition to all the great diving in Chub Cay, Bruce and I would like our divers to feel like they're at home, right in their own backyard. <laughs> it's been a real pleasure diving with Bruce and Toy here at Chub Cay this week. We've had one of the most fantastic experiences in our diving life. The reefs are great. We've seen a lot of large fish. It's so relaxing. I, I feel this has been the most relaxed dive vacation I've ever spent. Coral is as good as any place else, including Bonaire, but the fish life here is excellent. There's very large fish, large group of barracuda, shark, of course, as you've seen. 
Everything I ever wished, I love it here. Yeah. As remote and unspoiled as Chub K is, it is still quite easily accessible. Located just 130 miles from Fort Lauderdale and 36 miles from Nassau, it's a private pilot's dream with a paved 5,000-foot runway and full customs and immigration services, whether you arrive by plane, boat, or something in between. And if you don't fly yourself, fear not. One call to Undersea Adventures does it all, from airline reservations to accommodations. If you're looking for total isolation and relaxed, no-hassles diving in a beautiful family island setting, look no further than Chub K. Chub K Undersea Adventures. Think you've experienced the ultimate diving adventure? Think again. Nassau Undersea Adventures specializes in non-stop diving adventure. If you have a day, a week, or more, we'll fill it with more diving adventure and excitement than you've ever experienced before. Nassau Undersea Adventures is located in beautiful Lyford Key, at the opposite end of the island from Nassau. Just close enough for great hotels, shopping and nightlife, just far enough away for unspoiled beaches, sky blue waters and pristine reefs. This area has been chosen for years by major motion picture studios as the underwater filming headquarters for such blockbuster films as Jaws, Splash, Cocoon and the James Bond thrillers. It's now accessible to divers, largely due to the work of Stuart Cove, former diving and support coordinator for the movie studios, and now owner-manager of Nassau Undersea Adventures. Stuart and his team have scouted underwater filming locations, wrangled sharks, built underwater sets, and single-handedly salvaged and resunk a 200-foot freighter as an artificial reef for divers. Stewart's goal is to show sport divers the kind of underwater adventure that until now has only been seen in the movies. Well, our adventure dives are where we're going out into the wilderness further away, out of sight of land, going all day trips, three tank dive trips, to places where no one's dived before. We find a lot of big, big pelagic species, big sharks and numerous, numerous um, tropical fish. We also have a, a, a stingray dive where we can go and pet large uh, Southern Stingrays, and of course we have the, the Shark Boy out here, in which we can dive with up to 40 sharks and, and have great contact with them, feed them, touch them, ride them. The adventure begins early at Undersea Adventures. Boat crews prep and polish the vessels for the day's action as you check in. Hi. Are we staying this morning? Christmas. And uh, here we're feeding the sharks. And you throw the ballyhoo up, and as the ballyhoo comes up, the sharks come in and just take it right from out in front of the cameras, as you can see here. Ooh. If there's ever too many sharks out there for you, all you have to do, there's a little trick that we tell you about that makes them go away every time. As the sharks swimming at you, all you have to do is go like this. <laughs> I think I'll do that. <laughs> As our diving fleet heads out of the bay for the morning dives, our first stop on our way to the shark buoy will be Stingray Runway. Move over, Stingray City. These are the big guys. Some with wingspans over eight feet. A cleaning station on a nearby coral head must be what attracts these rays. As rays circle the rocks in turn, small blennies and cleaner rafts spring into action, cleaning parasites and debris from the stingray's underside. Below in the rocks, spotted morays wait for a handout from divers. If they can fight out the yellowtail and grouper to get within striking distance, Twelve miles offshore in 6,000 feet of water, our next stop, 
the shark buoy looms into view. Okay, Doc, we're going to tie off at the south side um, so we tail back. As with any shark expedition, oh, yeah, it starts no with baiting in the small fish Good. and chumming the water with bloody bait. All right. When the sharks get so thick you can catch them by hand, divers hit the water. approach the buoy, sharks begin to circle, curiously at first. But when the food bag comes out, their attention is captured. When we first started diving here, we were terrified. We'd get in the water and the sharks would come up and we'd be back to back with each other. We all had big sticks with nails nailed into them. We'd jab at the sharks. And now after a few hundred dives, um, we realize that they're not Bothering, they're not going to bother anybody at all. They're, uh, they're just in to eat the food. They're not interested in, in biting divers. After a half hour in the water with up to 30 of these beautiful, sleek, silky sharks, fear is replaced by awe and wonder. But in case you forget these sharks have teeth, they will occasionally remind you. If the shark buoy doesn't offer enough shark action, we've got more. Oasis Wall offers the opportunity to see our resident 12-foot hammerhead, Bruce. Seventh Heaven Reef, our most distant and virgin site, offers advanced divers, escorted by armed dive masters, the opportunity to experience truly wild shark action as fearless bull sharks are lured into the wall, sensing blood. Bull shark dive is a very advanced dive, and this is where we'll, we'll take some bait down and bait in these big boys, the big 10-foot bull sharks. The sharks can run up to 500 pounds and stuff, and they'll come cruising in amongst us. We obviously don't touch these sharks because they're, they're, they're quite large and could inflict some damage. It really makes an exciting dive. But not all of the diving at NASA Undersea Adventures has to be hard-stopping action. Inshore sites like Golden Key offer lush Elkhorn Gardens, just waiting to be explored. Dramatic vertical walls laced with underwater caverns. Even the grass flats in the bay, with their local residents, can provide some of the most exciting dive action you'll ever experience in eight feet of water. Nassau Undersea Adventures is not just for expert divers. Our certified instructors offer everything from one-day resort courses to full-week certification and specialty courses, including underwater photography. Accommodations range from the prestigious Nassau Beach Resort on beautiful Cable Beach to the charming Orange Hill Inn, where you'll be sure to be treated like family. And Nassau is now more accessible than ever, with daily non-stop flights from most major cities on more than a dozen major airlines. So don't just dream of diving adventure, live it with Nassau Undersea Adventures. It's as easy as calling our toll-free reservation line and booking your ticket to adventure today with Nassau Undersea Adventures. Bimini, Andros, Chub K, and Nassau, four world-class undersea adventures destinations from the man who wrote the book on diving adventure, Neil Watson. For more information on undersea adventures destinations, call toll free or write Neil Watson at the address on your screen and start planning your next undersea adventure today with Neil Watson's Undersea Adventures.